Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're gonna take our gulp a little bit further by triggering a live reload. Now, what's gonna happen is when we're gonna save a particular file, uh, it's going to run a task like normal. And then in that task, we're going to pipe in a live reload so that we can control what reloads our browser and what doesn't. So keep watching, we're gonna show you that right now. So the first thing you need to do to get Live Reload working is that you need the Live Reload browser extension for whatever browser you're using. I'm using Chrome. It looks like this uh, circle with the two arrows around it. And you'll notice if I try to click it right now, it's gonna tell me that it can't connect because uh, a Live Reload or a compatible server is not running. Okay, so make sure that you've gotten at least this far where you have the extension installed and you're clicking OK. Um, and that's as simple as just going to the extension, uh, like Chrome extensions or Firefox plugins and just searching for Live Reload. Okay, so once we have that, what we need to do is then get the gulp package for Live Reload. Now that gulp package is just simply gulp live hyphen live reload. So we can type uh, npm install. I know that because of the drive I'm on, I have to type sudo. Uh, so sudo npm install gulp hyphen live reload, just like that. And we get enter. And it's going to go ahead and go and get that, install it, and get us up and running. Okay, so that looks like that worked. We have live reload installed now. And now we just need to require it just like we've required our other packages here. So we can say live reload. And live reload is going to be equal to require. And if you could guess, it's the name of the package. So gulp hyphen live reload, just like that. Okay, so we're requiring live reload and we're setting it to the live reload variable. So now to get live reload working, all we need to do is call this live reload function. That's all we have to do. However, before live reload will do anything, we need to start the server. So we need to create a server and we're gonna do that in our watch task because this is going to run um, in our default task, it runs scripts, styles, and then watch. So after that, then it'll start up the live reload server. And anytime we save our CSS after that, we can then trigger a live reload. So let's say var server equals, and then we just have to say live reload, just like that with parentheses and a semicolon after it, because it's a function here. Okay, so var server equals live reload. Okay, and now we just want to run this same function as a pipe uh, after our CSS is done compiling. So in our styles uh, task right here, we've compiled and compressed our SAS, uh, we're checking for errors, and then we're saving it to the CSS folder. Now let's add one more uh, dot pipe. And inside of this pipe, we're going to say the same thing we had down there at server, it's just gonna say live reload, and then parentheses like that, like it's a function, right? So now we are triggering live reload once all of this stuff is done, it's saved our CSS, and then we're live reloading. So let's try it out. I'm going to run our gulp command, and instantly you can see it's run scripts, styles, watch, and it started the default and you'll notice it says live reload server is listening on 35729. Now this port is the default port for live reload and yours will probably say the same thing. Now if we can come to Chrome, all we need to do is turn on live reload for this page by clicking the, uh, the extension right here that says enable live reload. You'll notice that the little circle has now filled in black. It's really subtle. I wish they would make that a little bit more obvious, but um, the circle is now filled in black and we should be good to see this in action. So let's go ahead and change this background color that I have set as an accent. It's this bluish color. Change to something really bold. I'll say red, save it. And without doing anything, our page is already refreshed. So let's come back and let's make it blue and green. Okay, 
But you'll notice that all of this is in real time. I'm tapping back and forth as quickly as I can, and you can't even see the change happening. Now, this, granted, this isn't very complex CSS. It's not doing a whole lot, but this live reload is actually pretty fast. So if we come back all the way, okay, there. It's, it's really cool that we can have all of these things in one configurable tool that you can use for all sorts of stuff. So this is Live Reload working in Gulp. So check it out, get going with Live Reload, and be blown away by how convenient this is. You can now subscribe to Level Up Pro to get premium features out of Level Up Tuts for $8.99 a month or $95 a year. And this comes with downloadable videos. You get an ad-free experience on Level Up Tuts and you get to feel good about supporting Level Up Tuts. Now we're also filling the site in with code examples, but that's taking a little bit of time, so they're not all there yet. So keep checking back and we'll have more and more code examples available for pro users. So check it out. If you have gotten a lot out of Level Up Tuts, give back and help Level Up Tuts uh, grow and just keep making more content by subscribing to Level Up Pro. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook or pretty much anywhere. We love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.